100 cards. Well, it's pretty obvious why every cardist should master or at least know these moves. Majority of magicians might find these basic one-handed cards beneficial for their performance as well. This isn't something that you would necessarily want to perform in front of your spectator, unless it's a part of your routine, of course. However, these moves will definitely increase your overall dexterity and smoothness when dealing with a deck of cards. When dealing cards and dealing with card dealers. In this video we'd like to explain and share some tips for five basic one-handed cuts. Charlie cut, revolution cut, scissors cut and thumb cut. So grab a deck and let's get started. So to perform Charlie cut you want to place the deck in the straddle grip. So first off you have to Replace your thumb the way that it will lift up the top packet like that. So once in this position, you will have to push the lower half with your index finger. You will have to push it over here on the top right corner and push it all the way and then the thumb will get out of the way. So right now this top packet is held only by the knuckle of your index finger. When two packets are cleared, you will have to take your index finger out of the way by curling it like this and you can cover the top packet like that. So one more time, lift up, push with your index finger. The top packet becomes the bottom packet and you can square the cards. Notice the positioning of your pinky. It prevents the cards from falling down. of a Charlie cut that is called Running Charlie. Uh, so to perform this flourish you will have to start like you usually do the Charlie cut, lift up the packet and right now you'll have to split this top packet with your index finger. Once you split this packet you let this packet slide down, fall down and kept with your middle and uh, ring fingers like that. You place your index finger right now out of the way and you can continue splitting this top packet like this and finish the cut and that's the running charlie cut So this is a revolution cut by Brian Tudor. There are a lot of ways to do this, but I will explain you probably the most convenient and most visual way to do the revolution cut. So essentially you start from a straddle grip and then lift up the packet the way you do it in a Charlie cut. But right now the things are going differently. First of all, your index finger is placed not on the short edge, but on the long edge of the deck. And right now you will clip the top packet with your thumb and with your index finger and rotate it counterclockwise. When rotating the packet you will reach your ring finger and clip the, this packet now between your ring finger and your index finger and continue revolving this packet. And notice how your index finger serves as a pivot point in this unhanded cut. So once this packet 
completed the rotation, you can curl in your index finger like in the Charlie cut, let this bottom packet fall down and cover it with the top packet like that. So one more time, you lift up the top packet, rotate it counterclockwise, reclip it with your index and middle fingers, curl in your index finger and cover it up. So, scissors cut. To perform this cut, you will have to place the deck in the upper straddle grip. So, if the straddle grip looks something like that and, your, uh, and the bottom cards are touching your palm, the upper straddle grip would look something like that. So, basically, you hold the deck almost on the tips of, the, of your fingers. So, to start performing the scissors cut, you will have to reach out with your thumb and place it on the bottom left corner of the deck. You can riffle through the cards like that and place your thumb inside, splitting the deck into two packets. From here, you can start a clockwise rotation move like this. So you rotate this packet all the way so that the top packet clears the bottom one and you can continue but right now in the counterclockwise motion like this and square the packets so one more time you split the packets in two halves you split the deck in two halves start rotation and place the top packet on the bottom full speed thumb cut. This is a relatively naked move and it starts in a weird grip. You hold the deck like this and uh, with your thumb placed on the long edge of the deck and uh, with your middle finger reaching out and splitting the deck into two halves and pulling out this bottom packet like this. So once you do this you would want your index and ring fingers curling and uh, move this packet upwards. So from this position you can drop this packet with your thumb and cover this top packet like that by curling in all your fingers, meaning index, middle and ring fingers. So one more time. You grip the deck with your thumb, reach out with your middle finger, curl in, pull, drop and put this packet on top and that's the thumb cut.
active postcard by Jerry Griffin and it's uh, based on the revolution cut so you would start with uh, uh, lifting the top packet like that and uh, start rotating the, pa the packet counterclockwise like you would do in the revolution cut and then with your thumb you'd want to refill this uh, corner of this top packet and uh, place your thumb like that and split this top packet into two and rotate this top packet clockwise like that so one one more time your index finger is uh, like a pivot point right here once you clear this top packet you're in the position for the either charlie cut or revolution cut so you can perform a revolution cut and finish the flourish so one more time like that and that's the octopus cut one-handed cuts two-handed cuts with two hands <laughs>